my camera keeps glitching on me. And true enough, it's not really a big deal in the grand scheme of all the things happening in the world. But when I need the camera to work right, it doesn't. And the problem is that when I use OBS, I get this weird, like, like glitching thing happened. I think you, yeah, you probably just saw it. There it is again. I thought it was just OBS, so I updated the drivers for my capture card, updated OBS to the latest everything, same issue. So I'm thinking maybe OBS is just bad. Closed it down and I went into Windows, the native camera app. And wouldn't you know it, the same shit happens here. Now it doesn't wanna do it. See, the glitching is camera shy. Of course, when I needed it, uh, there it is. See, uh, uh, the same thing. So it's not just OBS. This is a system problem. It's not a camera issue. So I had to sit and figure out what was really going on. So after my initial uh, diagnosis of the problem, I decided to look at the connections that my peripherals were making to my PC. Now I have my PC behind me and I also have a USB extension coming into a seven port inland USB hub that's powered from the power strip. And I use the power hub just so I wouldn't be pushing the vo max voltage on these USB ports. But in this particular hub, I have an external USB. I have a wireless receiver for my mouse and my keyboard. I have two micro USB cords charging two devices and I have an SD card reader in addition to my capture card. And it's all going into one port. What I found out was USB 3.1 Gen 2 has a maximum rating of five volts. So I'm willing to bet that because that port doesn't have enough voltage to power all of those devices without failure, some of the issues are showing up in the video feed because of all of this glitching stuff that's happening. So I had a genius idea. Let's just plug it straight into the motherboard. And that's what we did. Took it out of the USB hub, plugged it directly into the back of the computer, and would you know it, just like magic, all that flickering shit stopped. And I think that's because the signal is getting enough voltage to power it without shorting it out. And to make sure that that's exactly what's happening, we'll have a time-lapse montage in the back to show there's no stuttering, there's no flickering, there's no glitching, we fixed it. You saw it, I did it. Problem solving, son. And I know this may not be the case for everyone. Your flickering issues may be due to something else happening on your system. But if you haven't tried this, give it a try. It might work. It might not. If it did, leave a comment below. Maybe leave a like. Consider subscribing. I like figuring stuff out. Maybe we can figure some more stuff out. And if it didn't work, tell me all about it. Maybe we can find an answer together. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with my hands.